the reason why I never uploaded for another three days is because I was planning to work on difficulty blocks band 105. But I decided to stop and then decided to play some more Minecraft on my iPad. So that's why I never uploaded for three days again. So if you're thinking, you are inactive. No. I am still. Actually, how? How are you even active at the moment? This is... Okay, yep. Last post created, December 5. So, we're not ready. Okay, so, this is going into the help center. So, actually, we have to look at things that do kind of make sense. Actually, for example, let's search up community guidelines. Oh, strike basics. Here it is. So, actually, I do remember about it. Why is it so slow? Oh, come on. Stop lagging. Oh, there it is. So here it is. This is the first strike section. So this means that... Yeah. Right. Right, 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 right. So because you can't add or remove, your amount of playlists will stay. You can't change the, the amount of videos or videos you want. Because they'll still prevent you from doing that. So your schedule public content is set to private. They don't are not allowing you to publish it. You have to reschedule it when the freeze period ends. Note, penalty starts from the date of acknowledgement. So actually, until we go to this section, YouTube, what does this even mean though? So, is this a thing to help protect the YouTube community? Yes, because... So, to help keep the community safe, if you receive a community guideline strike, you will lose access to advanced features. So, actually, what was... Okay, so, what's the reason and why are they doing that? Here, let me show you. So, we have to go to this section here. Um, where is it? Yeah. So, you will lose access if you receive this type of strike, because that's the way you like it. So, also, so they have changed of how many examples are there, or how they change this now. So, this is only happening between the sections. So, here it is. So, they have now added this. So, they now added the list. Okay, if you receive this type of strike, this will delay your access. Or they'll restrict your access even more because this is to help keep the community safe. So, what do we even do? So, sorry, can't do anything about it. So, if you, pay, uh, if you post the same content, Repeatedly across one or more channels, or you repeatedly uploading content you don't own, if it's an ETSA, this, this will delay your eligibility, or they'll have to restrict your access. So, you do, this does make sense. So actually, yeah, repeatedly posting abusive, hateful, dangerous, oh, Content in or harassing videos or comments. So actually, this can result in a delay. Yeah, delays. Well, actually, any of these can restrict your access or they have to delay your eligibility. So actually, if YouTube says that your eligibility for advanced features has been delayed because you received a community guideline strike, this might be likely because this is how they changed the strike basics. Now, if you receive a strike, you'll lose access to advanced features. Only users that do not have any community guidelines strikes can keep their access. And users that have them will have their access removed. 
if the strike expires, they will be able to regain access. Oh, even though if you receive the you've lost access to advanced features pop up on studio, it says you're eligible to reapply at a one month after losing access. YouTube, move this to after the strike expires. And YouTube's like, no. Actually, So, look at this, and what can we do? So, actually, look at this. So, when you receive the You've Lost Access to Advanced Features, you can reapply for access one month after losing access. However, if you have the Community Guidelines Strike, you can reapply for access after the strike expires. Okay, YouTube should totally add that, because, yeah... YouTube doesn't want users with community guidelines rights to regain access to advanced features or get access. YouTube will have to restrict their access because, um, to users with community guidelines rights. Sorry, you can't regain access to advanced features. You've temporarily lost it until the strike on your channels expire. So, yeah. So now, look at this. So now YouTube has changed this. This was used to say violating child safety and privacy, and now it just says that. Impersonating others can delay your access, or they have to restrict your access, yeah, for a channel. Keep in mind that this is an incomplete list, so, yeah. We already know what the CG, or, yeah, the CG stands for Community Guidelines. Okay. Here it is. Tada! It's time to read. So, this is yeah. Build and maintain your channel history. Advanced features are a set of YouTube features that includes, for example, the ability to pin comments and higher daily upload limits. Creators may unlock access to advanced features by consistently following the community guidelines of building significant channel history. Violating the guidelines will delay eligibility. And for channels that already have access, they will lose access if they receive a strike. Actually, if it's a corporate strike, no, they'll not lose. Because, yeah, YouTube says that community guidelines of strikes can affect of how many features you can access because now YouTube says you will lose access if you receive a strike. What type of strike? Community guidelines strikes. They affect your channel's access to advanced features as well because yeah so actually okay so youtube has to improve the strike system yeah i think youtube has already did this to the next level so yeah actually also yeah remember the video i made where i lost access because they think I previously violated the guidelines? Well, yeah. So, look. So, this can totally start right. Oh, 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 oh. Here. Go back. Here it is. So, a strike may also result in losing access to advanced features. So, actually, if you're maybe wondering why. Go to the official YouTube channel channel. So, yeah, go ahead and just like, yeah. Go to the channels where YouTube has announced this. If you can't find it, they didn't announce it, but they did actually kind of update the strike system. This has to only do something with advanced features. They have updated this in July because... Starting in July, to help protect YouTube community, users are already losing, uh, using advanced features. Must continue to follow the community guidelines to maintain access. So that's why they have um, added the section. Well, actually, yeah. So YouTube said to keep the, the community more and more safer. They are now going to remove a channel's access to advanced features 
the channels that get community balance strikes. If you receive that you've lost access to advanced features or your channel receives a community balance strike, yeah, even before you lose access, you get a community balance strike. So, they, uh, so YouTube is supposed to say that the channel can reapply for access after the strike expires, right? So actually, YouTube, you should do that. So actually, YouTube, I feel like, oh yeah, one more question in mind. So, when a channel loses access to advanced features and they receive the you've lost access to advanced features window in studio, are they eligible to reapply for access out of the community balance strike expires? Okay, so they may be confused. So if the channel get a community balance strike and they already lost access, put their reapplication to the date after the strike expires. Well, actually, yeah, YouTube, that must be the change. So now it kind of looks like, okay, so it looks like we're totally done. Da -da. Okay, so it looks like we're done. Now it's time to end the video here. YouTube, don't remove this video. It follows the guidelines. Also, yeah, keep in mind. Actually, one of these videos of Ball Gets Ground series contributed to the loss of access of advanced features. Actually, I'm gonna show you ones of those in these. Actually. Look at this. So this video contributed to the loss of access of advanced features. So actually the advanced features only says eligible instead of disabled. Advanced features will say disabled if your video or ID verification is unsuccessful or Google has disapproved your video verification because you didn't follow YouTube's policies. So, if you want to get it approved, make sure you follow the policies, right? Yeah, you should. You should follow them. You should follow them. Actually, yeah, because... Yeah, that's right. It's now time to end the video there. <sighs> Bye.